As some of you might know, I am a big house music person, but this techno track caught my attention. It is called Push Up by Creeds, and today we will remake it. When I first heard these really cool spoken word whispered lyrics, I thought that probably happened in a really inspired writing session. But no, it's just a splice sample, so if you have splice, you can download it as well and play around with it. We will mostly look at the two major elements of the song, which is the synth melody and the kick and bass combo. And in the end, I will give you a bonus tip on how to make your vocals sound more interesting. So let's start learning. The song comes in at 160 BPMs in the key of G and it has all the characteristics of a hard techno track. But let's start with my favorite element of the song, which is the synth melody. It's a combination of a sine and triangle oscillator and the envelope is quite short and punchy. We also activate the noise generator with a kick sample to give the sound a thumpy kind of vibe. The real magic of this sound definitely lies in the reverb and delay. I used Echo Boy with a 1 8 delay time and a big hall setting from within Valhalla Vintage Verb. Additionally, I added a bit of a bit crusher effect coming from RC20 and a tiny bit of stereo widening coming from wider. After all that, it sounds like this. Let's move on to the meat and potatoes of the track, the kick and bass combo. For the kick, I ended up using two different samples. A main kick in the song's key that is quite big and a top kick to give the sound some extra click and punch. The bass is a typical offbeat bass, meaning it plays in between the beats. It's a sine and square combination and envelope 2 controls a low pass filter with a fairly long attack. Again here we add some distortion and a multiband compressor to make the bass sit in the mix exactly where it needs to be. There's this really cool trick happening with the vocals called a throw delay. This means that you have a delay on your vocals, but only on specific parts. The way you do this in Ableton Live is quite simple. You create a return track and put your preferred delay in there with a 100% wet setting. Then you can send specific parts of the vocal into your delay, which is a great way to fill in some gaps and make it more interesting. On to my favorite section of these remakes, which is comparison time. Let's have a listen and see how close I came to the original this time. Push, 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 push